You're listening to the Astromami newsletter read aloud version of my daily horoscope published on Substack. If you would like to read this, please click on the link in the description box below. Without further ado, here is the daily horoscope. Mercury retrograde through the signs, moon in Aquarius, void of course, and turkey, gobble gobble. Daily horoscope for Thursday, September 8th, 2022. Welcome to the Astromami Newsletter, a daily horoscope that hopes to shine a light in the dark, helping us all see where we've been, where we are, and where we're going. The Astromami Newsletter is a reader-supported publication, meaning it only exists thanks to the generous support of lovely people just like you. The two best ways you can support my work are to share this newsletter with a friend and to consider upgrading to a paid subscription. Whether you're a first-time reader or a long-time subscriber, thanks for being here. I truly appreciate you being in my community. I hope you enjoyed today's horoscope and card reading. Blessings. Good morning, friends. Well, there are two days left of our Flash Labor Day sale. 20% off any of my astrological services, natal charts, solar returns, transits, horary charts, and the new client two reading special, all for 20% off. It is a really great deal. And of course, this sale also applies to gift cards if the recipient of the gift card books their reading during the sale. So please check them out. The discount code to use at checkout on my booking site when you book your reading is astromommy 20 A-S-T-R-O-M-O-M-M-Y-2-0. Please reach out to me if you need a different time or day than what is available in my automatic scheduler. And don't forget that there is also a Labor Day sale happening in the family Etsy shop, Metaphysical Flamingo. 10% off any order of $100 or more. There is no code needed to take advantage of that deal. The discount will be automatically deducted from your total at checkout. Both of these sales are going on for two more days until Friday, September 9th when Mercury goes retrograde. Okay, let's get into the astrology. Well, today's an interesting day in that the moon will be void, of course, for almost the whole day. She is in Aquarius and goes void at 8.32 a.m. Eastern Time and then doesn't make any aspects to anything else until she enters Pisces at 12.42 a.m. Eastern Time. That's about 16 hours of nothing. A void, of course, moon means that not much will be going on except any other transits that are perfecting during this time, of which there are none for today. So this strikes me as odd, but not totally rare. Early this morning, before the moon goes void, she does make a square to Uranus and the nodes in Taurus and Scorpio, respectively, and then conjoins Saturn in Aquarius. Looking back at August, when the moon conjoined Saturn in Aquarius, we were also dealing with a full moon, sun opposite Saturn, square Mars, and Mars trying Pluto. That was an intense time. People felt lonely, isolated, and unsupported. We could feel those things again today, and depending upon the parts of your natal chart that Saturn is highlighting for you, this could be more or less intense. The moon in Aquarius is all about wanting to connect with our friends, groups, and networks of people that we have established in our lives. We may feel more humanitarian in nature and want to stick our necks out for people, making sure they are heard, treated fairly, and empowered. With the moon going void, though, this could be more easily said than done today. It could be a good time for busy work, and with Mercury going retrograde tomorrow at 11.37 p.m. Eastern Time, there could be some things we still need to take care of. So this energy could be great for doing the filing, paying the bills, and backing up the computers. I am actually backing up my computer as I am writing this. I want to go over each sign for this Mercury retrograde period and highlight the areas that you may be feeling these energies or experiencing Mercury retrograde type events. As with all Mercury retrogrades, there is a heightened chance for technology to be on the fritz and communications to get choppy. This retrograde starting in Libra and traveling back into Virgo, I think could indicate a sense of going back from an imbalanced state to a better state because Mercury rules Virgo, so there may be a feeling that things get better during this retrograde instead of worse. But do be aware of snafus with technology, machinery, and automobiles, and bring a paper map if you're traveling to a place where you would feel totally lost if your phone died. So, here is a short and sweet horoscope for each sign during the Mercury retrograde. This will make the most sense if you read your rising sign. Aries. Mercury retrograde is happening in your seventh house of relationships, marriage, partnerships, and other people in general. So this transit could bring up conversations that need to be revisited, reflected upon, or even rewritten in the case of email or text conversations. Business dealings or contracts may also have to be reworked or taken back to the drawing board. This transit could also indicate a partnership that you thought was not going to happen being re-offered, and since Mercury will be traveling back into your sixth house of servitude, it could mean you get the job, deal, or contract after all. Taurus. 
Mercury retrograde is happening in your sixth house of health and wellness, including injury and illness. This is also the house of servitude, how others work for you and how you work for others, and of small pets. So this transit could bring up health issues that have to do with your mind, brain, tongue, arms, hands, and fingers. It could bring up issues at work or issues with people doing work for you. There could be something that comes up regarding a pet that you have. Since this transit is going back into your fifth house, it could mean that a health issue that has affected a recreational activity or a child pops up again and needs tending to. Gemini. Mercury retrograde will be happening in your fifth house and traveling back into your fourth house. So this could be a time to pay special attention to your children and ways that you have fun, like recreational activities, pleasure, and sex. It could bring up conversations around these topics or the need to go back over family dynamics. It could also signify a time when you reconnect with your children or a lover and reground those relationships in a practical way. Cancer. Mercury retrograde will be happening in your fourth house of family, roots, and origins, and traveling back into your third house of environment, siblings, and short trips. This transit could bring up important conversations with family, neighbors, or siblings. It could bring about issues on local transit or car repairs that crop up during a routine trip to the store. There could be issues with your home that you want to revisit and clean up in some way. Leo. Mercury retrograde will be happening in your third house of environment, siblings, and short trips, and traveling back into your second house of possessions and money. So this transit could bring up conversations with your siblings or neighbors, and it could also cause glitches at your bank or with money apps. Be aware of traveling mishaps like flat tires or the GPS going awry and make sure you have your spare ready and a map if needed. Virgo. Mercury retrograde will be happening in your second house of possessions and money and traveling back into your first house of self, physical health, and new beginnings. So this transit could be a time when it is necessary to revisit the books and make sure that everything is organized and accounted for. There could be issues with the technology to do this, so hopefully you've already done it beforehand, but something could come up that you have to deal with in the financial department. It could also be a time when you have to revisit a health issue that affects your attitude in some way. It may be important to keep a log of these health events so that you don't have to rely on your memory alone to recall what went on. It's a good time to make lists that you can reference later. Libra. Mercury retrograde will be happening in your first house of self, physical health, and new beginnings and moving back into your 12th house of loss, sickness, enemies, and confinement. This could be an intense time where you have to review your physical health and wellness and make the necessary changes to diet or lifestyle that will help keep you in top form. Accidents involving vehicles or machinery are to be especially watched out for, Libra. It may be hard to stay grounded during this time, but this retrograde period is no time to space out while using machinery, technology, or driving. Do what you can to keep yourself aware of the present moment, please. Scorpio. Mercury retrograde will be happening in your 12th house of loss, sickness, enemies, and confinement, and traveling back into your house of friends, groups, alliances, and hopes. So this transit could be a time of reflection on those things or relationships that you feel trapped by. It may bring up old losses that you've experienced or old patterns that you were unconsciously running that you feel the need to rewire so that the connections you make are more practical, logical, and worth your time and energy. Sagittarius. Mercury retrograde will be happening in your 11th house of friends, groups, alliances, and hopes, and traveling back into your house of career, reputation, and authority figures. So this transit could bring up technical difficulties, connecting with friends or networks. It could signify a time when you want to make new friendships and alliances, but the environment just isn't right at the moment, and so you have a feeling of wanting to go back to a previous location or group of people with which you understand your place in the social structure. It could also be a time when there are issues with friends or colleagues that affect your career in some way or your reputation at work. There also could be an unusual amount of technical difficulties at work that make work more of a challenge. Capricorn. Mercury retrograde will be happening in your 10th house of career, reputation, and authority and traveling back into your 9th house of beliefs, long-distance travel, foreign places, and higher education. So this transit could affect the relationships, communications, and technology at work, and also travel plans and educational pursuits. There could be an imbalance at work or maybe the feeling that work is slowing way down and this could hinder progress on projects. This lull in the workplace could force you to re-examine and question your beliefs about the stability of this career or the business in general that you work for. Aquarius. Mercury retrograde will be happening in your ninth house of beliefs, long distance travel, foreign places and people, and higher education, and move back into the eighth house of death, rebirth, regeneration, and other people's money. 
So this transit could bring up issues at school. Maybe the printer is not working or the email system is on the fritz and students and staff aren't getting the important messages they need to complete their assignments. It could make you question your beliefs about the stability of the establishment itself and make you wonder if they've over leveraged themselves in some way. You could need to revisit debts that you have or people that you count on for financial support. It could mean some sort of mix-up or technical difficulty popping up that has to do with student loans. Pisces. Mercury retrograde will be happening in your 8th house of death, regeneration, inheritances, and other people's money, and moving back into your 7th house of relationships, partnerships, marriage, and other people in general. So this transit could bring up issues or snafus with technology or people that you rely on for financial support. It could also be a time when you feel like revisiting taboo or occult subjects and getting a better understanding of them. This could also affect your relationships and partnerships in some way where you have to mentally weigh out what or who is practical, logical, and makes sense for your life right now. All right, whew. I really hope this breakdown by sign is helpful for this Mercury retrograde period. I am called to the animal cards, so let's pick one for today. Which animal can guide us through this retrograde period? 31. Turkey. Giveaway. Turkey medicine is all about the deep understanding of the sacrifices of both self and others. It is about giving freely from the heart without any strings attached. When we give with strings attached, it's a form of manipulation. So I feel like this card coming up for the retrograde period is to make us all aware of the people and places in our lives where we can give, not to receive, but for the pure joy of giving. Whatever area of your life Mercury is highlighting right now is an area that needs unconditional love and sacrifice. I realize that sometimes this is easier said than done, but it's a wonderful virtue to cultivate and practice. Blessing people energetically and physically is just good karma. I would love to hear your thoughts. Please feel free to leave a comment. I hope this is helpful. Until tomorrow, Astro Mommy. Today's horoscope was brought to you by the Moon in Aquarius, Void of Course, and Mercury Retrograde. Click links and resources can be found at the bottom of the newsletter. Today's card was pulled from the Medicine Cards by Sam's and Carson, available on Amazon. If you purchase anything through the affiliate links that I provide in the newsletters, I will make a small commission, but there are no additional costs to you. I don't share or recommend things that I don't 100% believe in and use myself. Thanks for listening.